Tyrannosaurus rex is among the very last giant dinosaurs. There would have been individual Tyrannosaurus rex that may have seen the glow coming over the horizon from Mexico. The asteroid was six miles across, as big as Mount Everest. It zoomed 80,000 miles an hour, 50 times faster than a bullet. When it struck, the Earth shook with a billion times more force than the nuclear blast at Hiroshima. There was a tsunami wave that was probably a mile high. If you're a T-Rex living in Texas when that meteor hits, you might see that coming towards you. Further north in Montana, in Alberta, places like that, the heat is what is going to hit you. So for a couple hours that day, the temperature all across the planet heated up well past the temperature of the broiler in your oven, maybe twice that hot. So if you're living on the surface of the Earth that day, you're cooked. All of the stuff from the impact, both the asteroid and the rock around it, were molten, and a lot of that material was sent up, not just into the atmosphere, but into outer space, and then rained back down. Imagine sitting out there and you have showers, dense showers of molten glass beads coming down on you. There would be very little that would have survived that. It's really interesting when you look at who survives that impact and who doesn't. If you have a place to hide that day, it probably didn't take that much sediment. Maybe only six inches of sediment might have been enough to forestall the worst of that heat blast. But if you can't get underground, then you're doomed. Tyrannosaurus Rex, the tyrant lizard king, ruled the Earth for barely a million years, a blink in the geological eye. Then, in a blinding flash, the sovereign and his subjects were no more. It's hard to overstate the significance of this day. It's really the day that sets into motion the events that make the modern world as we know it.